What's up, peeps? Um, I'm going to do a, a review on a pickup I got in today from Yeezy Go. Shout out to Jenny for hooking it up. Um, everything is amazing. Start out with that. Easily the best pickup. I've had like four pickups prior to this one from uh, all different websites. And uh, Yeezy Go, they got it going. They're doing it right. Look at these boxes. They're, they're all pretty much good besides that one. Um, I'll show you the packaging over here real quick. If you look in there, um, there's styrofoam, which is really new to me. I've never seen any, any website send styrofoam in their box. Everything was, it was just, it was well packaged, you know what I mean? All the shoes were in their boxes. They didn't try to jam two pairs of shoes in a box. They, they did none of that. Highly recommend the site. I'm going to review the shoes. And I'm going to start out with Jordan 28s. Because I think these are probably my favorite shoes out of all of these. Um, yeah, let me slide it out. It's double boxed. <clears throat> Packaging. Pretty much on point. They're supposed to be a little red ring that goes right there kind of like this on these Jordan 7's you see that little metal ring it should be on there and I think it's supposed to it just must have fell out or something not a big deal just the box alright so lift the tab open it up first thing you see two uh, shoes and uh, their own individual dust bags Alright, there's the first shoe. These shoes are, for the most part, on point. Um, the only thing that was wrong with the packaging... Um, was that they didn't come with that little cardboard like circle thing that goes in right there but you know I like why would I care I don't care um carbon fiber looks real but I know it isn't because it shouldn't carbon fiber shouldn't, should not fold like that you know what I mean On the bottom, you got Jumpman flight plate. Jumpman looks good. I wouldn't say great because he's kind of he's kind of got a little short left side. And then the bottom, you got the sparkles. Um, the sparkles don't actually exist on the authentics. But I think it's a cool looking feature and I really like it. Let me fold down the side. Sorry about that. Fold it down. You got this cool number that comes up as a 2 or a 3 depending on the different ways you look at it. But yeah, there's that. Doesn't have it on the other side. Not supposed to. Inside of the shoe is on point. Alright. There's the 28s. Um, let's just knock out the Jordans first. This one's double boxed also. I took it out. This is the uh, Jordan 7 Olympic. On point, great looking shoe. Got really good weight to it. It's all leather. Um, make sure when you buy these, you get the AAA version. Definitely worth your extra what five ten dollars. Um, because they're they are flawless. There's one slight paint flaw. I wouldn't even say it. It's paint. It looks more like a glue flaw. 
because there's just kind of a hole. But yeah, these are the Jordan 7 Olympics. Jordan, right up there. Um, the only flaw that they have, I would say, is the laces. If you could pick up the authentic laces, you'd be good. The tips should be gold. They're actually silver. And they just have a cheap feel to them. They're kind of stretchy, you know, like that kind of elastic-y replica lace feel. Other than that, shoes are great. I would highly recommend stuffing these with newspaper so that they keep their good shape in here. The little liner. But yeah, great shoe. Highly recommend picking those up if you're in the Jordan 7s because it is on point. Alright, on to our Kobe's. We got the Kobe 8s. Um, Flame of God is apparently the color. That's dope. Oped it up. These are the All Stars, as you can see. Great looking shoe. The laces are coming up a little bit lighter than they really are appearing in person on uh, my camera. You know, it's just the same old Kobe 8. Great shoe. Great for balling in. Highly recommend it. Um, you got your carbon fiber. But uh, it's more of just a rubber, you know. The same old thing on every Kobe. The back. It's got your Kobe logo. Um... Pretty sturdy back here, I was surprised. Normally it's all bendy and stuff, but you know, I'm putting a lot of pressure on it and it's not budget too much, so there's pretty good ankle support in these. If you look inside the shoe on the tongue, it looks like you got a planet um with some snake a snake wrapped around it or something. I think that's because of the year, or for the year of the snake. Um, same old Kobe 8. It's kind of just a fabric. Um, also, just... I don't know. I'm looking at this on my phone, and it's coming up as red. And I've seen on other videos, it's coming up kind of as a red color. The entire shoe. It's definitely more of an orange. Definitely. The bottom the bottom's really coming up as a red too. And it's it's an orange, so just to let you guys know. It's not red. And then here's your insoles. I actually don't wear the insoles because um I just I need that extra room in the shoe. Size twelve. Fits like a, uh, I would say it fits like a uh, 11, 11 and a half, depending on if you take out the insoles or not. Oh yeah, I'll talk about sizing too. Uh, Jordan 28s fit a half size snug, so I bought a 12, and I'm 11 and a half, fit perfect. Uh, out out of the ordinary, we got the uh, Jordan 7 retros. And uh, they actually run a half size big, believe it or not. So, order these size, half size up. They'll fit you perfectly. And then, on to the next Kobe shoe. Thought I'd pick up my first pair of Kobe 7s. Um, these look great. They got the inserts. I don't know why anyone would wear these, but... Maybe if you're super into balling out. Yeah. Feel a little cheap. You know, I have no idea what the authentic ones feel like. They just feel kind of kind of cheap. I don't know. All right. Got your Black Mama paper. Don't know if it's supposed to come with that or not. Boom. Boom. There are the Kobe 7. 
Cheetah Christmases. Got the cheetah on the back. Sparkles. Um, not very sturdy at all, unlike the Kobe 8s. Um, this color, or this yellow color, is more of a volt green, so be aware of that when you're buying the shoe. Um, carbon fiber plate on the bottom. Red laces. And you got the purple cheetah print. Um, with the cheetah print, it's a little dark. It's supposed to be a little bit lighter than it than it um, appears on the shoe. So yeah, that's, that I would say that's probably the only flaw. Um, also, the stuffing around here just feels kind of kind of cheap, just like cotton balls and. It was just it just was kind of hard to put the lace through the hole. I don't know. I've kind of noticed that with the cheaper quality replicas, it's just kind of the holes are just kind of shitty quality. But yeah, those are the cheetahs right there. You got the play strong insoles. I do not think that those are supposed to come with this shoe, but could be mistaken. You got your yellow lace tips. Oh no, great looking shoe. Um, I would say that shoe runs super snug. Of all the pairs of shoes that I bought, this one I would say runs like a ten and a half with inserts. Take the insert out, I'd say it fits like an eleven. So you're gonna want to order that up, order that like a size big if you can. Um, and then lastly, I got picked up my uh, first KD5s. I love the KD4s. Um, there's the uh, insert. I think it's super dope. This is uh, the Christmas colorway. The only flaw with these is that the Nike Swish is 3D. It should be like this Swish right over here, like kind of just fused to the shoe, not so much pasted on there with glue. Yeah, the insert I took out. Um, and then I think there's some flaw with this here and the print all together is a little off. I mean, you can go, I don't know, you can just pause it and then go on Kicks on Fire and look up KD5 Christmas and just kind of see the print differences. But all in all, really good quality shoe. I honestly, I've seen KD5s in the store and these are on point. I think the only thing that's wrong with the shape is that the air bubble is like a millimeter higher than the authentics but I mean look at the air bubble like that just it looks so it looks so good in person great looking shoe there's the bottom it's great highly recommend all KD5s um, I would say it fits a half size snug so order up half size if you're gonna pick a pair up um, <clears throat> that's it for the shoes from Yeezy Go, I have a couple gifts. I got this Supreme hat. This one actually has a pretty good amount of detail. It's got a little, it's kind of embossed around the rim, which I've never seen before on any Supreme reps. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look or if this is even an authentic colorway. Feels nice. Got your tag right there. On the second Supreme hat. There it is. This one feels more like the old ones that I've had. There's the tag. In there. 
I think this is dope. I love it. And then I uh, picked up a uh, Supreme belt. Um, it's not actually on the website, or it might be now, but um, if you want it, just tell Jenny I uh, sent you and ask her for the uh, Supreme belt, and then she'll customly put it in your, into your order. Um, but yeah, this is a sick belt. It's on point. Looks like the original. Authentic. Alright, well, uh, I'm tired as hell. That was my pickup from EasyGo.com. Highly recommend them. Um, they have a, a great deal going on right now, so if you can catch um, buying something in the next couple of days, you'll get 20% off your entire order as long as you have. I think it's over seven items on the website, so get there fast before that deal ends. And then uh, also, if you order more than, I think, six items, then you get free shipping. So if you order within the next couple of days, get more than seven items, you get 20% off your entire order, which is unheard of. I've never seen a rep website do that before. And if you do order after um, March, just get more than, I think it's five or six items. Get the little keychain things you have to, and uh, you'll get free shipping. And as you can see with my packaging earlier, they did a good job. So, highly recommend the website. Thanks. I'm out. Peace.